Now we have removed the drive belt splash cover and we have unclipped the cable guide around the oil sump. We have drained the oil. We have removed the ring gear cover from here and we have aligned the ring gear wheel cut out to our sump bolt. Uh, the two of them, uh, the other one is uh, just around here. So you can see another boat and uh, the cutout. We align them together, so that's going to be easier to remove the boat. And uh, we have removed the drive shaft, uh, right hand drive shaft flange. All the boats are taken off and it's now uh, movable. So we have we need uh, some clearance when you see we have uh, just uh, released it. Uh, next we're going to remove all the uh, bolts around around oil sump. The most difficult uh, oil sump bolt to remove is the one just above the drive shaft flange. Uh, after drive shaft flange removed, you can't move uh, away. You can't move the drive shaft uh, away too much. This is uh, as much as I can move. So, in order to remove that bolt, so that bolt's a very difficult bolt. I try uh, uh, make loose of the uh, exhaust uh, in the middle connector connection so that uh, exhaust will be uh, a little bit uh, flexible. I have uh, loosened the connection uh, clamp over there so that exhaust uh, a little bit, a uh, little bit, just a little bit uh, flexible but not too much. So still not too much. And then I use Allen key, I get Allen key into that bolt, see? And then I use a screwdriver to press the, to press out the drive shaft flange so that the Allen key can be behind the drive shaft flange. And this is a make it a, a close to the perfect angle uh, to the bolt so that I can loosen the boat without uh, uh, damage the, the, the boat. So this is the way how I remove the boat. So you can see the Allen key over here. Over here. You can see the Allen key not focused very well. You can see the Allen key just beside the exhaust. And uh, on this side is just behind the drive shaft flange, so that I can lose this one, the most uh, difficult one uh, to remove.